Hey everybody, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to another edition of the 5 Minute Motivator. Welcome to my home in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you my standard disclaimer. Uh, and that is that these 5 Minute Motivators are one take wonders. Uh, there is not a lot of uh, post production work, maybe some texting that I might do. But otherwise, they are what they are. Now, I bring that up because the magpies are being very assertive this morning. Uh, they're fighting over some stale tortilla shells that I left hanging around. So uh, anyway, you might hear some squawking, you might hear some squealing. That's what's going on with uh, with the uh, five minute motivators right now. And if if that's the case, that's cool because ultimately what I'm here is to give you a kernel of knowledge that you can try to contemplate on for the rest of today. So w what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about what is the opposite of anger. Now I, I didn't give you that answer in the title. Uh, because I wanted you to think about that a little bit. I, I, and if I, I, when I, when I ask this question at live events, what's the opposite of anger? Uh, what I'll hear is love. What I'll hear is um, uh, uh, the opposite of anger is is uh, being nice, compass, calmness, and so forth. I'm going to go off on a limb here and uh, tell you something that Brian Tracy talked about. Uh, oh my God, several decades ago. The opposite of anger is responsibility. Aha. Now think about this. The opposite of anger is responsibility. Positive responses to negative situations. That's responsibility. Brian Tracy was fond of saying that whenever anybody in his organization came up to him and said, we have a problem, here's what it is. His first answer is, well, that's good. And then he would try to figure out what was good about it. And, but he would never get angry over a situation. And, and I think that that's a really positive outlook on life. It, it's something to think about. Uh, when you are faced with anger, remember this, it is your choice. When you choose not to be angry, you are choosing responsibility. You are choosing a positive response to a negative situation. Now, if that's the case, if responsibility is truly the opposite of anger, what does responsibility bring to us? Well, I will say this, that the byproduct of responsibility is calmness. It's being calm. It's the absence of emotion. And we are able to think through situations by being responsible instead of angry. When we're angry, <laughs> we use emotion as a communicative device. When we're responsible, we use logic. And that's what propels us through problems. Now, I'm not suggesting emotion is bad. Emotion is very good, especially when tied with positive passion. But when faced with a negative situation, responsibility is much better than anger. Okay, so how do we become more responsible? Well, you know, the answer is pretty easy. Responsibility really requires awareness. We need to be aware of when a situation causes us to become angry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's face it. There are people in our life that know how to pull our trigger. They know how to elicit negative responses. My first inclination is to stay away from people like that. It's kind of hard if you're married to them, right, or, or if they're your boss. But the fact of the matter is, is that you need to be aware that anger is beginning. You need to be aware of that. Once you're aware, you can begin to control it. So the first step toward dissipating anger is to make sure that you're aware of it. If you are, there's a very good possibility that you're going to be able to stop anger in its track, tracks. All right, so let's get into a little bit of neuro-linguistic programming here. Is there a physical trigger that you can use to eradicate anger? And there is. When you feel anger beginning to rise in your emotional reservoir, smile. Smile. Let the smile be the trigger to stopping anger. Once the anger is at least capped, you can then be responsible for handling the situation properly. So, a lot to chew on today, folks, but I hope you understand the, the, uh, the concepts here. The opposite of anger is responsibility. 
We all have the ability to do that because we choose what we think of. This is Bill Shock thanking you for attending yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Ladies and gentlemen, please like, share, and comment on this. I'm trying to get my YouTube uh, subscriptions up. It would be very helpful if you helped me along here. Thanks much. Talk soon. Bye.